Hi everyone, Kate here, and this week I'm sharing a recipe for Pine Woods Cold Cream. It's a rich, luxurious skin cream with a soft, woodsy fragrance perfect for the winter months ahead. My formulation is based off a skin cream scent blend from Practical Use of Raw Materials in the Beauty Parlor, which was published in 1924. For this recipe, you will need 7 grams of beeswax, 8 grams of jojoba oil, 57 grams of almond oil, 28 grams of distilled water, as well as pine essential oil, lavender essential oil, green mica, although this is very optional, and a broad spectrum preservative of your choice. I like using Optifin Plus. Begin by melting the beeswax, jojoba oil, and almond oil together over a low heat. I like using a double boiler for this, but you could also just use a microwave if you prefer. Once the beeswax has fully melted into the oils, add in the water. Then return it to the heat for just a minute or two to let the water warm through. It should look a bit like a salad dressing, like a vinaigrette, when it's ready. Remove from the heat and mix with a set of electric beaters until the cold cream has cooled and thickened. Now is the time to add in the preservative, if you're using it, and the scent. The amount of preservative may vary by brand, as some different brands will have different usage rates, but for Optifin Plus, it's about 1%, which works out to approximately 1 gram by weight for this formula. If you prefer not to use a preservative, I recommend storing the final cold cream in the fridge to help extend its shelf life. Now onto the scent. Add in four drops of lavender essential oil and 20 drops of pine essential oil. The original blend also had a drop or two of juniper essential oil, which I just forgot to buy, and thyme essential oil, which I've omitted because any scent blend I've ever tried with it, I've really hated. An alternative to this pine mix would be to use something like a Christmas forest blend by Voyager Soap and Candle. Not sponsored in any way, it's just my favorite pine blend, which I frequently use in soap, and I feel like using 15 to 20 drops of this instead would make a fantastic smelling skin cream. I haven't tried it, but I think it would be fabulous. I've also opted to add in just a pinch of a green mica to tint my cold cream, just a very subtle green tint. It's completely optional, but historical creams were sometimes tinted, and I just think it's fun. Just make sure if you do opt to do this that you only add in a small amount of pigment. You don't want to accidentally turn your face green by using your cold cream. Beat again with the mixers until everything is well incorporated. Once all the extras have been added and the cold cream is fully cooled, pack it into jars and allow to sit overnight. The final product is rich and silky, with a woodsy scent that is gentle and not overpowering. 
If you have dry skin, it can be used as a face cream, although I think it particularly shines as a hand cream, especially at this cold time of year. Also, if you're wondering why I seem to only have a small amount in my jar, it's because most of this batch is actually a Christmas gift for my mother. I'm rather excited to give it to her, as I'm sure she is going to love this formulation. This is just right up her street. Well, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! This video is made possible through the generous support of my Patreon members. Thank you.